All right, welcome to Dart University. We're going to talk about cam timing. This is going to make sure your valve train is timed correctly to your crank. One, it's going to make sure you don't hit your valves and stuff like that, but it's going to give you peak performance because that camshaft was designed to open and close valves at very precise times. That's going to get you all the performance that you're looking for. Now, the first thing we've got to do is find TDC. It's pretty simple, but because when this crank comes up and the piston gets to the top, there's a little bit of wiggle here at the crank pin as I go from just under to just over. So the easiest way to find the exact center is to drop the piston down, come back around, drop it down again, take those two readings, we're going to divide them by two, and right smack in the center is true TDC right down to the degree. So we've got a dial indicator to sit right up on our piston. And if you notice, we've got it right center line with the piston pin. Now this piston will rock a little bit. So if I'm measuring over here, I'm going to get some of that rock in there. But right smack center is the best place to measure. So I've got my dial indicator, I've got my degree wheel. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that piston come down. So I'll look about hmm, 20 thou in one direction. I'll look at my degree reading. I'll go about 20 thou the other way. Look at my degree reading. They should be identical. I can adjust my wheel so I'm centered. I'm right back here to zero. Now I'm zero on my wheel, my crank is set. I know where I'm at. Now I can come over here and start looking at the cam. So I can find zero on my cam once again. I can find my center line. All right, finding cam center line. Same kind of procedure as getting your crank TDC. You've got kind of a flat area per se on top of your cam. So if you watch, I'm gonna roll right up on the top of my cam lift, right about zero there. And I can keep turning my crank and I had quite a few degrees there where I didn't have a lot of motion. So once again, we're gonna go about 50 thousandths before the top, 50 thousandths after the top. We're gonna to take those two numbers, add them together, divide by two. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna back it up. Now I'm gonna load my chain. So I'm gonna come right up on 50 thousandths before. That's the number I'm gonna write down. Then I can keep it loaded. I've got my chain loaded because of the direction of the crank. And I'm gonna go 50 after, bang. Those are the two numbers I write down. Once I've divided by two, I know exactly where my center line is. That's gonna give me exactly what the cam was engineered to do with the crank. Now, if that's off by a little bit, we've got different types of crank sprockets, cam sprockets, that I can make small adjustments. And I can get, you know, a degree, two degrees, one direction or the other, or Maybe you want to just change characteristics of your engine. If you want to advance or retard it a little bit, you can do it the same way. So that's how you get the most out of your engine. Make sure it's set up right, get it dialed in.